What's up, what it do, cyber world? It is your girl, the one and only Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Brown Uncensored Show. On this program, I talk a little bit about everything. It may be pop culture related, but it's probably Ash Brown related. You just got to stay tuned to see what I'm going to talk about. All right, so today I want to talk about something that I gave it a shot, and it was actually a good shot. So I've been seeing for weeks and weeks and weeks about the movie Air on Amazon Prime. And from what I got from it, it was the backstory to how really Michael Jordan is probably the most valued NBA player of all times. And a lot of it is on part of his partnership with Nike. So this story... Okay, so I'll I'll set the the page for it. So you got the really big hitters. You got the Ben Affleck. You got the Matt Damon. You got Jason Bateman. You got Chris Tucker, which I thought was a really good addition. And you've got Viola Davis. And what I loved about this role for her was she actually got to play with her real-life husband, Julius. I think his name is Julius or Julian. I think it's Julius. And... So they go through the story and it was very captivating because for me, I have to have a good story. If it's not a good story, you've already lost me in the first five minutes. I'm vested because Michael Jordan was my generation as far as growing up. He was our generation's big basketball star. And Air Jordans have been around for as long as, <laughs> you know, the 80s. And to hear the story of how it almost wasn't was really intriguing. And the lengths that they went to solidify the deal, it's crazy because he still could have said no. And from what the movie details, he really wasn't interested in Nike at all. At that stage of the game, I think Nike was a new, it was a new brand compared to the others like Converse, Adidas, and all the others. But Nike made a deal with him that honestly revolutionized the sport and makes him money just, you know, passively. (laughs) Talk about one heck of a passive income. I think it was like 400 million or 400 billion in passive income. Like Michael never has to work again. His mother is still alive. They said that she runs a foundation in his name. His father, unfortunately, was gunned down and murdered in the 90s. I think they said it was 93. And I somewhat remember something like that. Somewhat. Um... I don't remember everything about it, and I didn't really, I really wasn't interested in looking that up. It's just to hear another family's story of pain. Very sad. But it was certainly interesting to watch how things played out. And I like the fact that they didn't have like someone that was going to, the Michael Jordan in the movie didn't really, didn't speak. So it was like he was a figure, but he wasn't the main, he wasn't the main focus, which I like, because I think that we would have been comparing him to the actual Michael Jordan and there's no comparison. (laughs) So there's really no comparison. So I like the fact that they didn't have someone that was actually speaking. They were more of a background character. And I tip my hat to his mother. Because if it wasn't for the mother, he wouldn't be getting paid like this. Y'all wonder why Scottie Pippen is mad? He gonna stay mad. Hater. Hater, I said it. Hater. He mad because Mike's son is banging his ex. That's it. That's that's really where that comes from. But whatever. His mother, Michael's mother, bartered a deal that absolutely changed the scheme of professional branding, it completely changed it because not only were they going to pay him 
I think it was 250,000. But he gets a percentage of the shoe sales, like him as an individual, as a person. He gets that, I think, like for the rest of his life, something of that nature. And that's incredible. That had never been done up until that point. That had never been offered to an athlete. Never. And Jordan still sell out today. It, then they said that um, <laughs> Ben Affleck's character, he played the CEO of Nike at the time. He was like, oh, what is he going to, you know, what is he going to earn? Like maybe like 30 million in shoe sales. They said the first year of the Air Jordans being on sale sold over $163 million. Oh, baby. That was the best investment that they ever could have made. Because they said later on down the line, Nike actually bought Converse, which I thought was cool. I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. So if you're looking for a good movie that isn't heavy onto the sports, I mean, yeah, it has a sports background, of course. It's revolving around the NBA. But really highlights things that we would have never known. This is a good story. I really enjoyed the story. And I think they did a great job. Everybody in the cast. And I mean, I'm not even really big on like the Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. I'm like, I get it. They're best friends, blah, blah, blah. Um, Let's find something else to focus on. But I really enjoyed watching the story play out. It was very captivating. It made me feel like I was in the 80s. And I think that overall, it was a great, great movie. Great way of historically putting things together and making it engaging, enchanting, making you want to see what is going to happen next, what can happen next. So I really enjoyed it. And I think that you guys may enjoy it as well. So go and check it out whenever you get a chance. And let me know your thoughts. If you see me on social media at one love ash, the number one L O V E A S H, or Ash said it, A S H S A I D I T. And I pray that you have a great, purposeful, prosperous, and peaceful week. Week ahead. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.